Hello and welcome back to my channel, gorgeous. Today I will show you an autumn inspired look created with none other than the glam and herself. This is inspired by an iced coffee, so here we go. Enjoy. First thing I did on this beauty was apply the Inner Perfect Serum like underneath. This is just gonna brighten her skin. And right over that, I went in with some Danahyeon Sensitive Fluid because she does have oilier skin at times. I wanted to just do a little bit of deep puffing action on the eye, so I used my Banana Cream by Ole Henriksen. And I used some Sephora Beauty Amplifier Smoothing Primer. I went right in with some Ultra HD foundation just to create my base. You guys know this is my absolute favorite. And I applied it quite generously. I did her ears as well because she does have the cutest little red ears. So I wanted everything to just be very equal. I find her face was a bit darker than her neck, so it was a bit lighter, excuse me, than her neck, so I did darken it quite a bit with my foundation before coming in with the beauty blender to smooth everything out and make everything super flawless. Now whenever my afro gets out of the way, I will show you my contouring action that I did with some Fenty Matchsticks. This is the shade Taupe. I believe that's the name of the shade. If not, that is the color you're looking for. Just for fairer skin. And I did carve because I wanted to. And I like to do my little signature pout right underneath the lip. I love doing that. And um, I just learned a new way to do it actually with one of my makeup so you might be seeing that soon then I just defined her jawline so I wanted to make her just a little more angular because why not <laughs> now once that was on I proceeded to come in and blend and I used a brush because I just didn't want everything to leave with the sponge sometimes I'll blend more with the sponge but I wanted it to be quite snatched and just a little dramatic because why not so I used a uh, synthetic Brush. This is for concealer and foundation that I used uh, to blend her contour. I'm coming in with some Ultra HD Concealer for Makeup Forever. This is one of my favorites. I just touched on all the high points of her face to illuminate those areas. Making sure to blend that down the bridge of the nose with my new favorite brush for Makeup Forever. You guys, this does foundation, this does concealer, this does contour. This blends cream blush, it does bronzer. It's just a really cool, smaller, all over brush for your face. I absolutely love it. In a beauty blender, I proceeded to just buff everything in to her skin. And as you can see, I already have a very well defined face. I'm letting the nose bake because I just, it's not really baking, but I'm just letting it set just a little while longer. And during that time, I'm gonna work on her cheeks using some NARS Dolce Vita liquid blush that just goes on like a dream. It's so liquid, it's really like foundation, so a tiny little bit will go a very long way, um, as you can see. And I'm just using the heat from my fingers to kind of push that into her foundation, really push that into her skin, actually, um, eventually, to create like a flushed look. And I'm taking that from the high points of her cheek all the way underneath her eye. It's just a classic blush placement, but it is a bit high. So as far as the height on the face, it's high, but as far as where it goes right into underneath the iris, um, that's a classic blush placement. Just brightens your skin and brings um, gorgeous attention to that area of your face. Like Look at that complexion after I've come in and blended and set a little bit. So I uh, moved on to blending that lip area I had just done and I uh, smoothed out the nose as well. And then I was ready with some Ben Night Taupe that I've been looking for everywhere to uh, contour her cheeks and then carve them back out using some Ben Night Luxury Powders again. So I wanted her really, really snatched. I love a good snatched face and I felt like doing that with her because I knew that she was not only filming with me, but she was also taking an outfit pictures that day. So I wanted it to be nice and photo shoot ready. Now using my Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow by Makeup Forever in the shade Taupe. This is a very gorgeous matte brownish shade I just blended all over her lid then I came in with some 
icy brown color by Makeup Forever just to lay it over top and um, create the perimeters of my smoky look. I find those colors look just so gorgeous on her. And I was blending using a MAC brush as well as a Sigma Dome brush. Again, my smoky eyeshadow pencil by Makeup Forever in the shade black, and I'm starting to outline her eye by working on the lash line first. And then, once I get to the edge, I thicken my eyeliner to the point that I want it. Then I'm using a black eyeshadow by Viseart to smudge out that eyeliner because I like a good smoky eyeliner look. I did the other eye very quickly for you and I popped on some shy eyelashes. If you want a tutorial just for lashes, let me know in the comment section below. And I'm just blending and like why is she so pretty? Seriously, stop. Like you're stunning. <laughs> I was just blending all the shadows and making sure everything was seamless because this does have quite a bit of contouring and so I still want it natural and glowy. So I was just making sure everything was well married together and well blended and soft and natural. She was already admiring her look. I think she, she's not used to wearing this much makeup, but she, she liked it. Um, I'm just insisting under the eye right now just to really cancel out any eyeshadow, um, any shadows, excuse me. I'm going back in with some of that Ben Nye using a dome brush by uh, Kazetti, a tiny little defined dome brush. I'm just really carving that nose. Yes, girl. <laughs> This is one of my favorite lash tricks I'm doing right now, just pressing on them to curl them back upwards. I'll show that to you in that tutorial I'll do for the lashes if that's something you're interested in. Um, I really like my lashes to be unclockable, so I'm using Chanel Waterproof Mascara once everything is all set and dried into place to really gently but aggressively <laughs> blend my natural lashes with my falsies. And you can see it gives off, it gives a really natural effect. Like, you know they're falsies, but at the same time, you can't quite tell, quite tell where the beginning and the end. I'm using some of that uh, Makeup Forever color just to line her bottom lash line, a Makeup Forever pencil inside the eye, a black one in the very outer corner of the eye, just to define it. And then I'm using a tiny little detailed brush to smoke everything out and sort of marry that bottom lash action with that um, classic eyeliner I did on top. And then her brows are already powder browed or microbladed, I forget exactly which um, service she went for. So I just kind of combed through them using my brush and then using my spoolie. I don't believe I even added any color. Like, if anything, I just did a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills, but they were, they're naturally pretty flawless. And just to finish things off, I used a MAC Lip Pencil. It's like a nudish pink shade. I'll make sure to put it in the description box below the exact shade that I used. Just to define her lip, I wanted her lip to be semi-sharp, 
so you can see it's defined but not too too much and then she has a very straight lip and I wanted to give her a bit more of a smile lip so I use some concealer to curve her lip upwards but ever so slightly you can, you can tell I'm doing it very very naturally I just didn't want it so straight I wanted it to be a, just a little more upturned so I did that Makeup forever um, concealer that I used to, to just to define. See how like she just it just looks up now. And then I used the Rouge Artiste lip lipstick by Makeup Forever. I used to hate their lipstick. I used to hate their lipsticks, but this new one they have I really enjoy. And once I was done with that, I popped on some um, lip gloss by Biography just to finish the sweetness of an iced latte. Or a pumpkin spice latte, if you will. <laughs> I love just like overdoing it with the with the gloss. But you, if you follow the channel, you already know that. And that's our final look. You can see, so cute. This is something you can wear for every day. This is something you can wear to go out. Um, this was just a fun collaboration between me and the Glam Edit. Again, her information is going to be listed in the description box below. I had a fantastic time. I'm so, so, so happy that we got to collaborate. <laughs> Bye, my loves. Have a good one. Ciao.